Hi, fellows, welcome to my channel. I'm going to use the next 15 minutes to introduce you what Taiwan Fishery is all about. And I'm also going to let you know the two exclusive uh, fishery shows that we are holding this year. The first one is called the Taiwan International Fishery and Seafood Show. The other one is called the Taiwan International Fish and Tackle Show. To begin with, I would like to first share with you what the industrial structure is all about. Do you know that Taiwan is among the six top six high sea fishing countries in the world. Meanwhile, we also breed over 100 kinds of agricultural species. We are also uh, the country who can produce a lot of world class brands. Taiwan at this moment has a population of 23 million, where there are about 320,000 people engaged in fishery. Each year, we produce about 1 million tons of fishery production, where we also have a production value about 3.3 billion US dollars annually. For those who are engaged in the fishery uh, industry, there are about 40% in the pelagic fishery, where we have about 39% engaged in aquaculture, and for the offshore, it's also about 70%. Here, I would like to show how Taiwan is very special in the fishery. Talking about the geographic location, Taiwan is located in the eastern part of Asia, where we have a sub-island about 160, with a coastline of 1,988 kilometer and a water territory of 5,200 meters square. For the climate, we have a very moderate climate where we enjoy a tropical and subtropical climates. And on the east part of the Taiwan is the, is the so-called Pacific Ocean where we have a corrosive current on the west side of the island is called the Taiwan Strait uh, Ocean, where we have the cold and warm currents, and they will meet with each other to produce a great variety of ecological environments, where we do enjoy a very abundant marine resources, which is why we are uh, good in the fishery development. According to the latest, latest statistics, we have about 103,000 uh, different kinds of marine species in the world. And Taiwan is also a hub for the small and medium enterprises. And what does that mean? That means that uh, we do have a lot of companies that has an employee under 200 people with a capital below 2.6 million. And what is so special about this SME? It means that we are really flexible and we are really creative. And that is why we are really good in customization of what the buyers would need. Next one, I would like to tell uh, what is so special about Taiwan's pelagic fishery. At this moment, we have about 22 different kinds of cities and counties in the islands where we have 40 fishermen's association with 222 fishing ports. At this moment, um, there are about 20,000 fishing boats and we operate in three different kinds of the ocean. The fish methods that we use in the island includes long line, hook and line, per purse saying, chicken, step held, deep neck. And about aquaculture, um, for the agriculture, at this moment, we have an uh, area about 40,000 acres and we breed different kinds of fish in the salt water, in the fresh water, and also in the sea cage. For example, in the fresh water, we have the eel and we have the tilapilla. For the salt water, we breed bass, grouper, milkfish, shrimp, clams, oysters, and for the Sea cage, we have copia, grouper, and pomphlets.
Of course, Taiwan is really good in the seafood process uh, foods. For example, we are famous of mullet law and also suggested shrimps. All of these are uh, implemented with a smart agriculture technology and many of our seafood process factories, they are HACCP or ISO 2000 and 22000. Of course, we also implement the agricultural traceability systems. And here I would like to uh, share with you the latest uh, Taiwan fishery production from, two, tw from, from 2017 to 2018, we have a growth of about 7%. And for the marine capture, we are the top 21 in the world where in the farm species, we are the top 19th. And here is a general picture of how the fishery uh, is divided in Taiwan in terms of pelagic and agriculture. For example, in cities like Pingtung, Yilan, and uh, Kaohsiung, they are more concentrated on pelagic fishery. Where you can see on the west side of the island, we are more concentrated in aquaculture. And there's another good news that I would like to share with you. Among, apart from we are really good in pelagic fishery and in aquaculture, we also eat a lot of seafood. For example, from 2017 to 2018, there is a growth of 10%. I would like to show you a quick snapshot of the Taiwan International Fisher and Seafood Show from last year. A leading international platform for the fisheries industry. The Taiwan International Fisheries and Seafood Show 2019 made a comprehensive showcase for the industry's supply chain. Displayed at the latest Taiwan International Fisheries and Seafood Show were up-to-date catching, aquatic products, processing, and farming technologies, as well as related products. After watching uh, what we have done in the Taiwan International Fisheries Show for last year, we are going to introduce you the Fish and Tackle Show uh, this year. So what is so, uh, so special about uh, sport fishing in Taiwan? Uh, at this moment, uh, the sport fishing industry in Taiwan is really prosperous. And why is that? Because from 1980s, we had always been a major group player. The manufacturers in Taiwan in fishing tackle is small, but it is very unique. The population of the fishing population is about 1 million, and we do three different kinds of fishing. For example, we do pond fishing our account about 55%. Uh, and for the sea fishing is about 40%. For the river fishing is only about 5%. Each year we, we export a value of about 33 million US dollars to different kinds of the world. And the business in town are looking for three things. They are looking for long-term relationship and they are looking for good after service and also flexibility. Um, so what is so about so special about this fishing tackle uh, exhibition um, in Taiwan? It is the first international fishing tackle show that is held by Thai Trot. And we have this um, exhibition in Taipei where you know Taipei is the capital city of the island. It has a population of about 270 million. And just near to the Taipei is the so-called beautiful northwest coast, where a lot of people will go over there for sea or rock or boat fishing. And there are many brands that you might have already heard of. These are all the world-class brands. For example, Okuma, Strike Pro, Pure Fishing, Hardy Rice, Daiwa, Omoto, Chunzhen, Hanimitsu, Wee Fox. Uh, also, Yushan, 
also about uh, ghost bread and scotty. These are the famous fashion tackle manufacturers in Taiwan. And in this show, we are going to showcase you all different kinds of road, reef, and all other fashion tackle terminals. Taiwan's fisheries-related industries always boast solid R&D capacity, excellent product quality, and competitive prices. All these have not gone unnoticed among international buyers and have secured their favorable responses. Meanwhile, the show debuted an international fishing tackle section to present the latest offerings from around the world. These, in turn, had created a new wealth of business opportunities for the industry. The Taiwan International Fisheries and Seafood Show presented a great variety of events that showcased the multifaceted development of Taiwan and the abundance of seafood the island has to offer. This year, a debut prawning session was set aside to give visitors a hands-on experience of this unique aspect of Taiwan's recreational scene. This is a picture that we have taken last year from the exhibition venue. It is a place where uh, we offer visitors to come have experience in shrimp fiction. Why is shrimp fiction very special in Taiwan? It is a very unique culture where uh, the families can all gather together and they can use their own methods of uh, different combinations of the lines of the hook and the, the rigs. And like I have just uh, shared with you, Taiwan is special in fishery, no matter either in pelagic fishery or in agriculture or in sport fishing. And here is a short review of what we have done last year. Uh, we have an exhibitor about 180 and they are coming from 14 different countries. We also have a national pavilion of three different kinds. And the visitor is about 6,810. 6, they are from 24 different countries. And the short highlights for this year would be concentrated in spot fishery, in spot aquaculture, and the total solution of fisher, fishing gears. And we are expecting to have uh, exhibited about 15 different countries with a visitor of 7,700. Uh, apart from the show, we also have some other side events. For example, we will have an uh, opening ceremony, we have also have the new product launches, and we also have this, uh, the so-called one-on-one -on -one meeting, where our exhibitors can meet with the buyers and to do a better business. Of course, we have the cooking show as well. And this year, we will also have a seminar where we will cooperate of uh, cooperate with different uh, all, uh, different universities and also with Aquafit. Taiwan companies is they're always leading edge. They try to get new technologies for the future. And here, the price is more fair, and the product is sometimes even better. Taiwan company is have a uh, new social, a new uh, inno innovation and high technology. I think I uh, need a partner and new friend in Taiwan. Yeah. This is excellent. This is excellent. Taiwan people are, have good integrity and they do good quality products. So these are the advantages I want to take back with me when I'm leaving. Taiwanese is very innovative, very clever. And also it's quite interesting because it has a good mix of uh, products which could help our Singapore industry. 这是还蛮意外的，有接触到一些菲律宾的、东南亚这些客人，试着去想要了解我们的商品。Fishery exhibition is better than more of exhibition I have seen. I met a lot of companies, and uh, their products are competitive, very active, very productive, very organized. As the best platform for fisheries professionals to engage in exchanges and cooperation, the Taiwan International Fisheries and Seafood Show looks forward to seeing you in 2020. After seeing the feedback from our exhibitors and from our buyers, right now I would like to short summarize the four main reasons why you should join with us. First of all, Taiwan has a great appetite for seafood. Do you know that 
Taiwanese people consume 1.7 times more than the global average. And also by participating in the show, you are able to reach a great uh, var variety of different buyers. For last year, we have attracted 7,000 different kinds of buyers. And also, we are able to help you to develop, bet, to develop better brand awareness and different marketing strategies. And by participating in the show, you are also able to promote the latest technology and the products that you have developed it this year. Apart from that, we will, ex we will also arrange you with a special one-on-one -on -one procurement meeting where you can meet with your expected exhibitors or with the buyers. So I will see you this year in September 3rd to 5th. And thank you for your attention. I will see you at the showground.